Hey guys, thanks for watching Red Dirt Rods. Now I want to introduce you to a project that we have had for a really, really long time. It's one of those that we got um, for my daughter when she was about 12 years old. And we've worked on it here and there. It kind of ran when we got it. We spent a bunch of time, we got it running better. And then things just, you know, slowly deteriorated because we didn't get we didn't have a lot of time to work on the car. So, but now we're, we're fully on this thing. And this is a 1974 VW Beetle. This is a standard Beetle, not a Super Beetle. It has a flat windshield. And this is a really cool car. So you look at it, it doesn't look like much. It's got a bunch of lichen all over it, uh, but it has brand new Firestone tires. Uh, it has been lowered. Uh, an inch and a half. It has a custom kicker car audio system, a lot of which we're going to replace. We're going to upgrade it a little bit. But the really cool thing is this thing has back here an 1835 VW flat four engine. And this is a bus engine. And we uh, shoehorned this thing in. It was uh, built with a set of custom cams. It's got uh, twin carburetors and it is attached to a freeway flyer transmission. If you don't know what that means, the original transmissions in these bugs were four speeds. So this now is a three speed with an overdrive. So third gear is one to one instead of fourth gear. And so this thing will actually fly down the highway. I have personally had this up to about 90, super sketchy. Uh, it's like a go-kart on crack, honestly, is what it is. But we have a bunch of stuff we're gonna do. We're gonna freshen up this engine a little bit. Uh, it has been sitting for a very, very long time. It sat for about 10 years before we got it. And man, we rebuilt the carbs and all that stuff, so, so that part's good. But there's a few other things, and, I, and I'm seeing some evidence of some uh, mice have got in here and chewed on some things. We actually had a bird nest in the glove box when we pulled it up here into the shop. But today, our main focus is on the interior. So we have a brand new TMI interior that we're getting ready to put in this thing. It was custom made for us by TMI. We've got new door panels, headliner, carpet, seat covers, front and rear. Um, I believe seat foams, front and rear as well, uh, which is really cool. And this thing is going to look really, really good on the inside. We've got plans for the exterior. That stuff's going to come later. But for now, interior. I want to introduce you to someone also. So, Red Dirt Rods Watchers. This is my daughter, Josephine. Uh, this is her car. We bought this for her when she was about 12. She had wanted a bug basically since she was a little kid and I knew where this one had been sitting for a long time and I stopped I had him with me actually I had her and, and my youngest with me when I stopped to ask about it and I knocked on the door and they weren't interested in selling I gave them my card and then about a month later I got a phone call from them and they asked if I was still interested and I said yeah and so I went over there and I had an idea of what I wanted to pay for the car. I forgot whose car this was. I knew the person who had this car built originally about 10 years prior, but I didn't realize it was the same car. And we make a deal, we, we, we tried to start it, it wouldn't start, engine was completely seized up. And I ended up paying them 800 bucks and we get this thing home and I managed to get the uh, engine unstuck and that was when I realized what all was in this because they gave me a, a box of receipts and whatnot and a friend of mine had built it and what happened was he he built the car drove it for about three months bought a new car and parked it it sat for a year or so he sold it to his dad's girlfriend. She drove it for a little while and parked it for about eight years. And then we bought it. Now, of course, we've had it and let it sit for about eight years. So <laughs> we're kind of right there in the same boat. 
but uh, we're really excited to get this thing going. Tell, tell everybody what your plans for the car. What do you want? She has a whole plan for the look of the car. So tell us about the, your paint scheme that you want to do. Uh, so the car is going to be, uh, it's going to be kind of like a tealish turquoise um, on like the lower half of the body and then the top is going to be a cream. We had a friend of mine, Jeff Allison, do a little rendering of the concept for it and that's a little piece of art that she hangs on her wall. Uh, it's going to be really slick. The interior matches the paint on the outside uh, and you guys will see that here in a few minutes but just wanted to introduce you to Josie. She's going to be with me for all of the bug tech that we're going to be doing. So little father-daughter project and we're going to show you guys how to do all of this for your project. So this seat cover is not in bad shape at all. It's actually really clean, really nice. Um, this one has the similar has similar attachment points, the little prongs that stick out and you fold over. So we're gonna take all of those off and then there's a few hog rings on the sides uh, to pull the sides tight. So we're gonna take care of those real quick. Hog rings. You can cut them with a set of side cutters like this, but that's really hard on your cutters. So the easiest thing to do is just stick the, hog, the pliers on them and give them a twist and it'll pop it right off. We're just gonna take our side cutters, put them in, and give them a twist and that'll pop that loose. Then what we're gonna do is use a set of uh, needle nose. All these tabs have been pried over. So we're just going to straighten these tabs out a little bit. You don't want to bend these too much because they will fatigue and break off. But just kind of roll it out and then use your pliers to straighten them. Alright, so now I've got all these undone. This has a really big listing wire. It's a, like an eighth inch piece of solid wire. Mm -hmm. I just pull these up. The listing wire on the bottom corners is damaged. It's broken into about a thousand pieces. So we will replace all of that. This is the original listing rod. This is a big big heavy piece um, bent in a few places where sit this aside doesn't seem to be any listing wire on the top I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this around the side there we go this cover is actually reusable if someone wanted an original uh, this cover would be able to be saved and, and reused. And there is our seat back. Now this seat back is actually in pretty good shape. The foam is not bad at all, but we're, we've got brand new foams from TMI, so we're gonna go ahead and use them. And we're just gonna start pulling. The foam is just tucked in around the frame and it's got a jute pad and then there's some burlap. So we're just gonna peel this out. So it's just tucked in. Just gonna roll that out just like that. So this, we're just gonna toss this. So this frame has burlap on it. This isn't in bad shape and it's not really gonna affect anything on the seat. So we're just gonna leave that in place. And then we're just gonna lay the new foam over just like that. And then we'll grab our seat cover. So this is our, uh, our seat back upholstery with these pockets wrap around here and just kind of lay this up against here. Just kinda... There we go, kinda slip that in there. Just like we did on the bench seat, we're gonna use some of this uh, protection tape now this protection tape is not necessary, um, it's just 
a precaution that I want to take to make sure that I protect the uh, fabric portion of the seat cover. Right, so the main thing you want to do when you're doing this kind of seat is you want to make sure that you're centered. I'm going to measure the center of the frame between here and here. So right here, 23 and a quarter, which is almost in line with this tab, but it is dead center with this screw hole that is in the frame. I'm going to measure the center of this center panel. 11 inches, which is gonna be five and a half. So this is our center. I want this lined up with that. All right, so I'm gonna shift the seat just a hair over to get this lined up. So you really wanna push and pull down here to make sure you can get this all the way up all the way around. So I think what we're gonna do on this particular one, is I'm gonna start on the bottom. So I'm gonna go measure that section as well. Okay, just like that. Take our listing wire. This is a pretty big rod. It's got a couple bends in it. Go ahead and straighten it out a little bit. This is a, looks to be about an eighth inch piece of bar of uh, round stock. So the bottom has this uh, sewn flap right here. This will just slide right in. And then once you get it as far as you can, hold it on one, hold it on the far end, and then you can slide it back on. So now it is running from here to here. So now, whew, it's warm. I'm gonna line this up with this mark here. Okay, right there, now we're lined up. And then I'm going to start on one side, do the other, and work from the middle out. Whenever you're doing big panels like this, bench seats, uh, you always want to work from the center out on any upholstery. All right, so we're just going to pull up. We've got this centered, pull up, and we're going to... It's got it. Okay, so real quick, this needs to go in between the listing wire and the stitch. You don't want to get it above the stitch. It's got to go through both pieces of sewn vinyl here. So that's that keeps it from tearing through. Okay, there's one. You lift, you're lifting at the listing wire. Snap it over, there we go. Then we come over here and do the other side. Okay, just like that. Oh, there we go, snap it over. I'm gonna take this little, uh, this small hammer and I'm going to just tap these over lightly going around that listing wire. Now our bottom is secured for now. We do still have to do the sides. We will do that after we do the top. So you work from the center out, top and bottom, and then you work the sides, including the corners. All right, so this, the original cover did not have any kind of listing wire on the top. It was just rolled, excuse me, it was just rolled over. I'm going to go ahead and make one with this bailing wire. Every shop should have a big fat roll of bailing wire. And all I'm doing is I'm just gonna put it here and I'm gonna roll this over. I'm gonna pull this up and I'm gonna get this as tight as I can, snap it through. Then as I go, I'm gonna stretch the seat upholstery side to side and I'm going to roll each section by hand and I'm just gonna I'm gonna pull this as tight as I can to the side to take out any wrinkles. Okay, there's one. Okay, it's super hot, so I had to put on uh, some bald guy anti-sweat protection so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, Josie had to leave, she wasn't feeling well, so my youngest son, Benjamin, is gonna step in and help. I'm gonna have Ben uh, pull the upholstery from the side so I can keep the wrinkles out. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna fold this, 
pull that. Snap that over. And sometimes it's a two-person job. It can, you can do it by yourself. It just takes a little bit more effort. The tab doesn't quite want to go through this thick upholstery, so that should work. See how we're looking? Nice and tight. That looks really good. No wrinkles. All of this will stretch out when we do the sides. Okay, so now let's go ahead and switch to the side. Okay, so now we need a little bit more listing wire for this section. So we're just gonna snap one of those. I'm gonna make two of these. So we've got this section here and the original seat just had a piece of listing wire looped around here, which is exactly what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna take our listing wire. I'm actually gonna go ahead and slide it into that section and then I'm gonna fold this whole thing over. There we go. Just make sure you go through two layers when you go through these uh, little tabs. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Then, take our hammer and we just tap these over. And then we'll do the other side just the same way. Fold. There we go. Oh yeah, nice and tight. And then just pull this up over. Snag it in, hammer, tap it over. Now we're at the end. Now this, we have to cut the vinyl to so that this latch can poke through. This is how the uh, seat folds down. But we're gonna do that after. So all we're gonna do is just pull this up tight, just like that. So see how this is, this, this flap is hanging right here? When we pull this tight, that cleans up nicely. All right, so we've got it stretched. I'm just gonna pull it up and we're gonna double this over. Always want, when you're hog ringing, you always want at least two layers. We're just gonna pull this tight. I've got about four layers here. We're going right over the spring, hog ring, boom. That's done. Okay, so then we take this is gonna go to either here or here. It just depends on how much material we have. Push the hog ring down over the spring. Hog ring through that material, okay? Now, I like to double hog ring when I can, just to make sure that it's not ever, if, it, if anything does loosen up, because you know, if this tears, we've got a backup. Okay, so we've got that. Then we'll come over here. There's two. Get my pliers in here. Boom, there's one. Get that last one, there we go. All right, now, razor blade. Okay, so right here, we have our, this is the little, where the handle goes through. So I'm just gonna slice right there. Push that through. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a little cut right here. Nice and gentle. Let's see if we can work that around. I don't want a big giant hole. There we go. Okay, that comes out. And then our lever, that's how you open the seat. Then, over here we're gonna do the same thing. Pop it in right at the front of it. Put the blade right along the edge of that bar. Pop it through. And that is a beautiful, clean seat back. It's gonna be uh, just a little bit before we put this in the car. So we're actually gonna put this in a, a trash bag to protect it. Now we're gonna do the bottom of our 73 bug bench seat. And this is all hog rings, so it should go pretty quickly. Remember, just put your plier, your side cutters on and give them a twist and then pull it out. These are giant hog rings, by the way. A 
and this you just peel off. All right, as we're pulling this off, I'm noticing that the uh, factory foam, it's not foam, sorry, the factory uh, mess of whatever the hell that is, uh, is just peeling off with it. So we're just gonna go ahead and peel all of this off as one unit and send it to hell. All right, and there we have the seat bottom. This is the back of the cushion, so this goes under the upper, and we pop our foam here on there, and this just kinda sits on here. Should work pretty good. Here's our cover, and this is the front, and this, with this pocket on either side wraps around the front, so we're just gonna go ahead and drop it on. Okay, so you, I'm gonna pull this around so you can see I've got my hand under the foam. I'm gonna press down and just kinda start pulling this over until it goes all the way down. We're nice and tight at the corner. Then we do the same over here. Now, you'll notice we got some buckles and some uh, wrinkles up at the top. Put some protector on here. So we've got it flipped over. Now we're just going to go around the perimeter and make sure that the entire perimeter is good. So the string cord for, for tightening, tightening this is off center. So this is not your center point. This is your center and this main seam down the front is your center. So now we're ready to hog ring. Now, you'll see, you'll notice there's two sets of holes here. You're not hog ringing to these oval holes, you're hog ringing to these round holes. These are outside of the visible area. If you hog ring up front, one, you're not gonna be able to get your hog ring all the way over this, but then you'll have a, a visible hog ring when the seat is in the car. So we're just gonna take this, roll this over, I'm gonna pull this right to the edge. Pull this folded loop right to the edge. That's all I'm gonna do. Pop that in, done. I'm gonna pull it just a little bit tight to the, to the side. Make sure this seam that's right here is running right down the center of this. Pull it tight, ring, go to the other side. We can always clean up everything on the, as far as the horizontal. We can clean that up when we do the sides. Now we're gonna tighten up the back. And again, we're gonna start in the center. I'm just gonna lift the seat up a little bit and then I'm gonna pull this over. We've got a fair amount that we can tighten up. So I may roll this edge a little bit, just like that. Clamp that down. At this point, I'll go ahead and I can, I'm gonna go ahead and tie this one off. All right, so I've got this. I'm gonna pull this tight and I'm gonna go to this first spring. I'm just gonna pull it like that. And then I'll put my finger on it if I can. There we go, pull that tight, suck that over. And then I'm just gonna loop this around a couple times. Okay, then I can start tying it. When I start tying, I'm gonna go around the original string, the first one, then Pull this tight. Now I'm not gonna tie this, I'm not gonna cut that because I'm just in case I have to adjust it. Find the hole, there we go. Like that. At this point I'm going through three or four layers of vinyl. Now as we get to the corner, we're just gonna do the same thing, you know, just gather it up a little bit, pull it as tight as you need to that hall green. Okay. All right. I do a fair amount of upholstery work, so I have this stuff on hand. Uh, this is a quarter inch closed cell foam, and because I'm gonna pull this tight and there's these two edges of the seat frame, I'm gonna take a bit of this, and I'm just gonna put this right there uh, in that corner to protect the vinyl from those sharp edges. You can use vinyl, you can use a piece of the old upholstery, but I just gotta pull this tight enough to reach down. Get her to go, 
get a hold of that and then I'm definitely gonna double double ring this. Push that up in there. That, like I said, that's just to protect from this these sharp edges. They're sharp-ish. I just don't want them to snag that vinyl. Ring, looking pretty good. All right, stuff off. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See ya. Let's make magic.